The industry is changing, it's changing a lot. We're seeing all different kinds of materials these days, materials that 10 years ago we didn't even know existed. Today we're seeing a lot of aluminum, we have aluminum vehicles coming along, so obviously we need something that's going to look after the aluminum, aluminum repairs. We also have a lot of ultra high strength steels and even more advanced high strength steels coming onto the market. And for those we have to look at different types of spot welders. And at the same time, we also have to look at different ways of wire feeding some of those areas that we can't get to when we're talking about squeeze type resistance welding, such as MIG brazing. As far as the resistance welders, the squeeze type resistance welders, I think these are some of the things that the shops have to look for. Number one, we have to look at the reliability of the equipment. Has the actual manufacturer been around for a while? Can they service what they sell? Have they got the right distribution network in place to make sure that uh, there's the after-sales service. In my travels around uh, the continent, going into various shops, the biggest question I get asked, how easy is it going to be to use? There's a lot of units out there that uh, can do the work, but the key really for the tech is to make this as simple and easy as possible to use. That's number one. Number two, is it going to do the job for them? Has it been designed to do the work not only of today, but it's going to do the work of tomorrow. We, as I mentioned earlier, we talked about all the different types of ultra high strength steels that are on the market. We're going to see even more types of steels developed over the next several years. So we want to make sure that the equipment that goes into a shop not only does the work today, but is upgradable for tomorrow. The next thing that I always get asked, who's going to look after me? So we have to make sure that there's somebody local to look after you, come in and do the training. None of our units go anywhere without being solely serviced by a local distributor and trained by that same distributor as well. Uh, the other thing we have to look at as well is, do we have the approvals? We have to make sure that it meets the, uh, the shop's requirements for the type of equipment that they're working on. So we have to make sure that, that meets our OEM approvals. And I think the last thing we have to look for is, is the, is the equipment going to match the flow of work that's in the customer shop. They need to take a look at the type of work that they've been doing and the type of work that they think they'll be doing and we want to try and match that equipment to that flow. The return for the owner of the business with resistance welding is phenomenal and certainly it replaces a lot of the techniques that have been used in the past and actually cannot be used in the future such as MIG welding on some of the high strength steels. They have to use resistance type welding. So we want to make sure that it can do all those sorts of things and fit into the customer shop.